And as the number of officer-involved shootings uh, involving people of color continue dominating headlines, there are questions being raised as to what's actually being done to address this disturbing trend. RT's Ashley Banks is joining us live with a fairly new program attempting to address it. Uh, Ashley, what can you tell us about it? Well, due to the high volume of police killings in recent years, the FBI created the National Use of Force Data Collection earlier this year to track use of force incidents that either result in death or serious injury in an effort to increase transparency. Take a look at what Douglas Middleton, a deputy county manager in Virginia, had to say. What I hope this database will do is bring clarity. To bring clarity not only to the law enforcement community about what is actually happening and what they can do, if anything, to improve but it'll bring clarity to our communities. A major issue with the system is the information provided to the FBI is completely voluntary, and in some jurisdictions, there are a number of police departments that don't track this kind of information, which means this platform may not be accurate, making it harder to keep a detailed record of these incidents. Now, earlier this month in South Bend, Indiana, Mayor and 2020 presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg was thrown into the spotlight when a white officer shot and killed a black man for allegedly breaking into vehicles. Sparking outrage among a South Bend resident. As a result, Buddha Judge canceled an appearance at a DNC event as well as a few fundraisers. This incident prompted Sunday's town hall meeting, which addressed the people of South Bend about the police involved shooting. The shooting is being investigated by the Metro Homicide Unit. The town hall, moderated by the NAACP South Bend chapter, was intended to outline exactly what the city's process is when it comes to investigating officer involved shootings. But a judge has had a rocky relationship with the black community in South Bend since he ousted the city's first black police chief in 2012 and then he named two white officers to lead the department. Also, many are upset with the mayor because the city's police department is almost 90% white, which doesn't represent the city's community. Take a look at what he had to say during the town hall meeting. The mayor of the city, I want to acknowledge that those last two lines of effort, the effort to recruit more minority officers to the police department, and the effort to introduce body cameras, have not succeeded. And I accept responsibility for that. At this time, the officer involved has been placed on administrative leave. However, South Bend residents demand he be fired. Fire him or be fired, I, I would love to be able to finish. I would love to be able to finish my reply. If that's okay. Since the incident, the mayor has instructed the city's police chief to have all South Bend officers use their body cameras when on duty, which are oftentimes not engaged like they weren't in South Bend's most recent shooting, an ongoing problem that could make it harder for the FBI to collect police brutality data. Reporting in the newsroom, Ashley Banks, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.